what's up? What's up, man? You like that? Yeah, yeah, za, go. Oh, hello everyone. Today I'll be fighting in VR with full body tracking. And after a bunch of crazy tests, we'll find out if full body tracking is really worth the money. In this video, I'm using the Tundra trackers along with the EOZ straps. Setup was fairly simple and involved installing base stations, attaching the trackers to the straps, and then calibrating the trackers with OpenVR Space Calibrator. But that's enough talk, let's get right to testing. All right, so we got the trackers on. Give a few kicks. Looks good. I can jump up in the air. Wait. Oh, oh, hold up. What's this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can. I can move them hips. Ooh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Those hips don't lie. The first thing I want to try. Give me a second. I said right foot creep. Yeah, walking with the heat. Time for our first test. What's he gonna do? I'm sorry, boys. <laughs> oh my gosh! Please no. <laughs> oh, this guy's not done. Boy. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> uh, whoa. All right, so we've arrived on an asteroid and... Now we're going to test how far we can kick somebody into space. Let's do it. Subject number one, a clone trooper. Here goes nothing. Ah. I feel like I could have got way further than that. Okay, let's try that again. Let's engage some, some super Zulu strength here. Let's wind up, shake out my feet a bit, get the blood flowing. Here we go. You ready? Oh, uh, I guess so. Okay. Ah! Ow! I kicked my desk! Ah! Oh! He went flying though! Oh my gosh! Ah, oh, that's that's the blood from my foot. Gosh, that hurts. Oh. Whoa! Okay. I think I'm gonna have to amputate. Ah oh, no, I can deal with it. I can deal with it. Alright, that actually might be hard to beat. That that clone trooper went pretty far. But next up we have Grandpa Ben. Oh, okay, he went way higher. I don't think he went further, but he, he went a lot higher <laughs> and he hit the asteroid on the way down. And next up we have, oh, it's young Kenobi. We're gonna go for a roundhouse kick. See if we can get more distance on this. Oh, that was a fail. Attempt to get this foot warmed up and. Oh. That was decent. I think the clone trooper has gone the furthest so far, but I have one more idea to beat my record. Now this may be controversial, but I brought a youngling with me. You need to leave. I'm sorry for what I'm about to do. What the? He didn't even go that far. Luckily, I brought him back up, youngling. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, you know what? They don't travel very far. It looks like it's the clone trooper for the win. So we're in the dojo now, and it's time to test our hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. Let's do this. There he is. He's wearing very little clothes, and he's very white. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. What's up? I can, I can use my feet. Oh. Oh. oh, into the death pit. Oh. Oh, oh he hit me. He hit me in the kidney. That was not nice of you. Yeah, what's up? Ooh! I'm gonna pull out some kung fu here. Ooh, ooh, ha, yeah, yeah, sa, ooh. Ooh. He, yeah. He. Gotta get a run up for this one. Ooh. Ooh. All of these kicks are actually kind of tiring. This, this is way more tiring than the normal blade and sorcery. It is time for the final kick, the iconic. Karate Kid kick. Ooh. Come at me, bro. Oh! Oh, I did it! First try, too! And it killed him! Okay, I'm gonna drop kick you into your friend. Oh, that... That, that kind of...
kind of worked. We'll take it. And the last one. Oh, ugh. I stumped on his butt. Let's go. Ow! Again! Okay, so I had to pull out a quick wardrobe change because I was getting way too hot, but let's continue. All right, so now we're going to be attempting the famous bicycle kick, but instead I of a- so sense danger. Shut up, Steve. I'm trying to talk. All right, so now we're going to be attempting the famous bicycle kick, but instead of a soccer ball, we'll be using my friend Steve's head. Everyone say bye, Steve. Bye, Steve. <laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs> what the heck? It didn't work. <laughs> but Steve's okay. L let's try that again. <laughs> that was the worst bicycle kick ever. Okay, that, that was awful. Let let's get somebody else in here to try that again. Okay, so now we have Jeffrey joining us. Uh, he he's a bit angry, but it's going to be okay, Jeffrey. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, that, that kind of worked actually, nice. Where did Jeffrey go? Oh, there he is. Get over here, Jeffrey. You did a good job. You did a great job, Jeffrey. Okay, now let's try to integrate full body tracking into my combat style. Let's do this. Straight through the heart. Wah! Both of you should have put a shirt on. Back up from me. Ooh, get dodged. Hook kick. Oh, oh no. Oh, no weapons, what am I gonna do? Get drop kicked! We don't even need a lightsaber! Who wants it? Bring it on! My feet are itching to kick somebody, and it's gonna be you! Oh, I missed him! Yeah, what's up, bro? This is about to happen to you. <laughs> I'm gonna kick this dead body into this group of people. Ready? Come on. You got this, Zulu. Oh, I got two of them. Eat this. What? He, he ate it. Honestly, I respect it, bro. Double kill. And let me just, uh, whoop. I'm about to attempt the most dangerous move ever. Bring it on, my friend. Oh. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> uh, what is this game? <laughs> Get over here, buddy. I'm going to thigh crush you. Come here. Come here. Oh. Okay, I'm a thigh crush this dude instead. I'm here. Oh, chill, chill. Right. Oh, now's my time. Try it again. Oh, my toe. Ow. And thigh crush. Ugh. Get over here. I'm going to thigh crush you. Yeah, what's up? What's up, man? You like that? Oh, ow. Oh, oh, you... You want in on the thigh crush too? Oh, you, double thigh crush? Okay. Huh. Dang, who knew, who knew thigh crushing was such a workout? So, do I think full body tracking is worth it? Short answer, yes, if you have the money to dish out. 
VR is all about immersion, and in a game like Blade and Sorcery, full body tracking shines as it literally lets you drop kick an enemy hundreds of feet into the sky. I'll also add that these Tundra trackers are incredibly light, and I could barely notice them once I was in game. Another plus for immersion. Some things to keep in mind are that there are a limited amount of games that support full body tracking, you'll need a large play space to get the most out of it, and lastly, it's a bit pricey. Huge thanks to Tundra Labs for sending out this gear, it was really cool to finally be able to use my feet in game. Anyways, that's it for today, I'll see you guys in the next one.